good day everybody from Deer River Minnesota we had a busy day yesterday today looks like it's gonna be a little slower pace but we don't know yet for sure I gotta go deliver this lumber that I have under the tarp in the back I'll show it to you right now we gotta go deliver it into Brainerd Minnesota and then once we're done with this and have that off the trailer by then, hopefully the load gods will have a plan for me. I don't know if I'm headed back home from here or if there's a reload waiting for me. We'll find that out later. Let's get going now though. This is the newest addition in Old Blue. It just hides all those wires. And uh, not wires, wires. Come on, Josh, I'm still waking up here. All these airlines. Right, that we're on this thing. Let's zip this thing all the way down to show you. All these uh, airlines, they look kind of messy. Just like taped on here, right? It goes all the way down. So to hide that, you just put this on here, zip it up, and it gives it a more finished look. See? All right, old blue. Another day, another nickel. How about it? Let's do it. Let's get a shiny one today. I'm going to double check. I saw that my trailer was attached. Trailer's attached, trailer brakes engage, trailer brakes release. Now we can hit the road. Question for you Minnesotans, up here in northern Minnesota anyways. There's a trailer being pulled by a pickup truck in those pumps over there. It looks like an RV trailer, but it's weird because it's got like, it's just, it just looks a little different and I see a lot of those around here. Are those like ice fishing shacks or something? At 100 meters, turn right on Commission Street and then 6. What are those things? See, they look weird where the, where the tires are because they don't have like regular fenders. They just have this big like, open area above the tires there. What is that? I see like at least a hundred of them when I'm in Northern Minnesota here every day. Like in abundance. I'm not exaggerating, like, way over the top, lots of them. While I'm looking out here at my window, you see that little spot on my window there? It's like a little, on my uh, mirror. My window mirror, my mirror window. Oh, I'm gonna be waiting here a while now. I should have gone. It's a defect on the mirror that I bought. It seems all of these parts that I'm buying don't seem to last. And I'm not getting the cheap stuff. At least I don't think I am. It's kind of frustrating, you pay the money for these nice parts and you want them to last and stuff and then they go and break the same thing happened with those lights underneath my headlights too they keep breaking too it's hard to find quality products it's my turn you've noticed that I shift gears without actually moving this it's uh this is my splitter valve here that's just splitting the gear into two this is a 18 speed transmission so I can split every gear it's just a little bit of a smoother ride when I'm pulling a lot of weight a little easier on the engine there's no real right or wrong way to do it other than well I guess there's a wrong way of how not to shift but when it comes to splitting gears, it's just up to you. Like here, I'll split it again. See, I'll push this forward. Then all I have to do is release the throttle and it'll automatically 
going to the next gear. See if I want to shift up again, I pull it back. All I have to do is lift my foot off the throttle and then put it back on. But if I want to go into the next actual gear, I'll put it back. I want you to look at this pickup truck that's passing me here right now and look at his load that he's got on his trailer behind him. Look carefully. Tell me what's tying that tractor down. Not one chain, not one strap. He literally just drove it on the trailer and now he's going 65 mile an hour down the highway. <laughs> and he's been in the left lane for the last about 10 miles. Just hanging out. He passed me once before and I sort of looked at him, looked at his trailer. I sort of gave him like the, the raised eyebrow look, like, what are you doing? And he gave me the finger. So, I guess so. <laughs> Goes along with his attitude. I mean, all I was doing was giving him a face, like, are you kidding me? No, he is very serious. He is, uh... Everyone on this road is in danger. Now, if, if anything happens to that truck, if a deer jumps out in front of him, and he has to slam on the brakes, that tractor is flying out into traffic. Or if he just hits a big pothole, could bounce that thing right off of there. Or if he makes a corner too quick, anything. That, that freaks me out. I've been trying to avoid him. He's slowing down. I don't know why if he's like, he's hogging that left lane so no one can get past him. I tried to get by him before, but then he just passed me again. So he wants to be in front of me. I don't want him anywhere near me with that tractor not secured. Watching them very carefully. Look at this. Okay, he's turning now. That is, uh, that's real risky, especially in traffic. It's rush hour right now. We're getting close to Fargo, North Dakota. A lot of cars on the road, as you can see. zero regard for everyone else on the highway, but he is very important. He is very important. He doesn't need to tie down his trailer because he's special. Obviously in a very big rush, which is much more important than everyone else's safety on the road. That actually, it, it makes me actually kind of mad. I'm kind of mad right now. Especially his reaction to me when I like, I didn't confront him on it. I just sort of looked at him. I sort of gave him, you know, the eyes like, what are you doing? Right? And his reaction to that, lashing out in anger, like, I'm in the wrong. I'm like, excuse me? Excuse you? What is wrong with people? Hey, boys. Hey, boys. So we made it home. Now it's time to dad. Got my dad shirt on and everything. I keep all my dad jokes in my database. Chevy, what do we got here? Is that the baby's new bed? This is our uh, Greco Dream Suite bassinet and changer in one. We have a tiny home with very few surfaces, so I thought this would come in handy having a change table built into the bassinet. Let's hope we actually use it. We gotta try and figure out how to put this together. Unfortunately, they don't come assembled. One, One star. star. <laughs> <laughs> we were reading some reviews on this, and some of the reviews are just so dumb. You can just tell the people that left the reviews just, well, one, one Maybe of the they shouldn't reviews? be caring for children. One of the reviews 
<laughs> was one star. They were mad because they had to put down their baby in order to turn it into the change table. Would you want it to be so easy that a toddler could come around and just flip your baby over while they're sleeping in their bassinet? Like, where do these people come from? These entitled people just with the most ridiculous grievances. Because yeah, you go to the reviews on Amazon for like legitimate reviews of people who actually use it and, you know. Any problems that it may have or missing pieces or anything. Yeah. I want actual reviews, not I had to put down my baby. <laughs> So annoying, even on anything else, even with truck parts. You go to truck part and you, you see these reviews down there that have nothing to do with the product. And it'll come, the box was damaged. That's that's nice. Did the part work? Yeah. Was the part damaged? <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Anyway, that's a whole different topic. We were uh, joking around about leaving a one star because we had to assemble it ourselves. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just lay my baby on the box? <laughs> And put a shade on that? I don't live with at home with my mom and dad anymore. Like, who's going to put this together? <laughs> All right, Daddy Josh, your new title. No one needs instructions. I am figured it out. He has the instructions right there. Right here. Right there. <laughs> so I think that so what we'll do, yeah. The instructions are practically useless. They're almost worse than IKEA instructions. There's like four different languages in here. But they, they have words. Yeah. So. Okay, make sure the webbing straps are in. I think I clicked that incorrectly. I think so. What's the next thing then? Does it snap the next one in? Which one has the middle button should be facing out? Oh, it snapped in place. Look at all huh. the braining going on. My brain hurts. Well, it is pretty late. It's almost midnight. See, I have to put this thing together so it doesn't fall apart the first time we put the baby in it. Well, we should probably test it. That's the goal. Frank! <laughs> <laughs> Start guinea pig. No, I would never do that. We'll just uh, wiggle it a few times and make sure. <laughs> well, with a minimal amount of F-bombs. Dadding so hard. So hard. <laughs> Wait till the crib, honey. This didn't even include any hardware. This was just a bunch of clicky parts. With terrible instructions. I didn't think they were that bad. I think Ikea does it better, and that's saying something. This goes in there. And then... This goes... Make it stable. Don't want our baby to fall. Okay, so you see the bottom is a bassinet, and this is the change table up here. I think now it's ready There's... to be flipped over. I think so. And yeah. attach the effluent. So, slide button inside of handle, up and squeeze. This here. Like this. Better work. Like this. All right, moment of truth. Um. This is the problem that's happened before already. Uh oh. Come on, Graco. Ah. Ah, the there's a safety. That's why you have to put your baby down, because you can. Oh my God, off and push the safety so that your toddler doesn't do this when your baby's in there. So rude. I can't believe they made it so hard. <laughs> there it is. Where little baby G is going to spend a lot of time. Like, For the first few months anyways. Like 10 weeks. All right, I'm going to put the effluence on. Finishing touches. Finishing touches. Here we go. Ten weeks or less. 
Look at that. 10 weeks. You hear that little baby? Your bed is set up now. Pretty soon yeah. instead of sleeping in here, you'll be sleeping in here. <laughs> Not nearly as cozy. But you'll get, you'll learn to live. You'll get used to it. I better check to make sure that the sheets I bought fit. I said that they should. <laughs>